Hello, my fellow Buddhas. Chapter 8. The Thousands Even though a speech be a thousand of words, but made up of senseless words, one word of sense is better, which if a man hears, he becomes quiet. Even though a Gatha poem be a thousand of words, but made up of senseless words, one word of a Gatha is better, which if a man hears, he becomes quiet. Though a man recite a hundred gathas made up of senseless words, one word of the law is better, which if a man hears, he becomes quiet. If one man battle, if one man conquer and battle a thousand times a thousand men, and if one and if another conquer himself, he is the greatest of conquerors. One's own self conquered is better than all other people. Not even a god, a Gandharva, not Mara with Brahma, could change into defeat the victory of a man who has vanquished himself and always lives under restraint. For a man, if a man for a hundred years sacrificed month by month with a thousand, and if he but put for one moment pay homage to a man whose soul is grounded in true knowledge, better is that homage than a sacrifice for a hundred years. If a man for a hundred years worship Agni or fire in the forest, and if he but for one moment pay homage to a man whose soul is grounded in true knowledge, better is that homage than sacrifice for a hundred years. Whatever a man sacrifice in this world as an offering or as an ablution for a whole year in order to gain merit, the whole of it is not worth a quarter, a farthing, reverence shown to the righteous is better. He who always greets and constantly reveres the aged, four things will increase to him, life, beauty, happiness, power. But he who lives a hundred years, vicious and unrestrained, a life of one day is better if a man is virtuous and reflecting. And he who lives a hundred years, ignorant and unrestrained, a life of one day is better if a man is wise and reflecting. And he who lives a hundred years, idle and weak, a life of one day is better if a man has attained firm strength. And he who lives a hundred years, not seeing, beginning, and end, and end, a life of one day is better if a man sees beginning and end. And he who lives a hundred years, not seeing the immortal place, a life of one day is better if a man sees the immortal place. And he who lives a hundred years, not seeing the highest law, a life of one day is better if a man sees the highest law. Now let us reflect on chapter eight, the thousands.